गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज टूडे आई एम नॉट वेल सो माई ऑडियो मे नॉट बी गुड बट स्टिल आई एम ट्राइंग टू जस्ट अपलोड द वीडियो टू मेनटेन द कंटिन्यूटी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट पार्टीशन एर ए अकॉर्डिंग टू गिवन पी वेट प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर टू वन सिक्स वन नाउ गुड प्रॉब्लम्स टू सॉल्व आफ्टर हैविंग सॉल्व दिस इज अप्लाई ऑपरेशन टू एन एर ए विच इज़ फ्राम टू फोर सिक्स जीरो एंड शॉर्ट कलर्स विच इज़ फ्राम लीड कोड नंबर both these i have already made so the link will be present in the description below you can go and check it out let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given a zero indexed integer array nums and an integer pivot rearrange nums such that the following conditions are satisfied every element less than pivot appears before every element greater than pivot every element equals to pivot appears in between the elements less than and greater than pivot The relative order of the elements less than pivot and the elements greater than pivot is maintained. More formally, consider every p i p j where p i is the new position of the ith element and p j is the new position of the jth element. If i is less than j and both the elements are smaller or larger than the pivot, then p i is less than p j. We need to return the nums after the rearrangement. Okay. Now let's look at the first example. In this case, if the given pivot is ten, then I want to place all the tens in the middle. All the pivot items, it may be occurring more than one time, right? So all the pivot element must be present in the middle in such a way that all the elements which are less than pivot must be going to the left hand side, and all the elements greater than the pivot must be going to the right hand side. Okay, so this is condition number one. Condition number two is the ordering of the items on the left hand side on right hand side must be exactly the same as given in the original array now if the second condition was not present then you can solve this by using quick select now the quick select will not work in this case because quick select is not a stable ordering algorithm okay quick select is actually a part of the quick sort logic you can say and that is unstable type sorting so since quick select is unstable it does not maintain the same order as given in the original array okay so the second condition required is if 9 comma let's say 5 is present in the order of 9 comma 5 you can never have it as 5 comma 9 okay even though they both are less than the given pivot element and even if you end up placing them to the left hand side of 10 but still the order must exactly be 9 comma 5 and not 5 comma 9 okay so that's why uh, you should not use quick select in this case now if you think about a simple approach then you can take an extra space and you can just iterate over this entire array and whenever you find an element which is less than the pivot item you just push it back so 9 5 will be pushed then uh, you can say that 3 will be pushed right once you are done with that all the tens must be pushed in the next iteration you see whenever you see the tens you just keep pushing them and once you are done with that again do another iteration and push all the items greater than the pivot item so 12 14 and that's it so that is how you can calculate the answer and in this case the time complexity will be order of n whether you do two times parsing or three times parsing it is order of n and the space complexity is order of n in this case as well right so uh, let's look at the constraint and see if this is going to pass so the nums length is only maximum 10 to the power of 5 uh, so you will know that it will be passing because 10 to the power 5 is way below 10 to the power of 8 and 10 to the power 8 is our one second standard so if i wrote something in order of n then it will definitely pass and each of the items are within the integer range so you can easily take a 32 bit integer and uh, solve this problem now pivot equals to an element of nums so at least the pivot will be present in the array okay now having seen all the constraint let's now look at some observations now in this problem if you are given the array let's say we are given several items then the expected answer is this i have already written the expected answer okay now we know that the requirement of this problem is given the pivot item let's say 10 we want the pivot items to be placed in the middle let's say the pivot is present two times as in the given example 
and all the items less than pivot are on the left side all the items greater than pivot are on the right side okay this was condition one and the second condition is the two pools on the left hand side and the right hand side must be stable pools stable pools means if you write x comma y where x is less than 10 and y is less than 10 as well then x must have occurred to the left hand side of y that is what is the meaning of a stable pool okay now you cannot just simply apply sorting because this problem is not asking you to sort right if you apply sorting you can match up that the expected answer and the sorted array is not the same even though all the tens comes together but the ordering may not be the same as given in the given array right the original array therefore i cannot directly apply sorting there the second approach which is intuitive is quick select again quick select is not a stable algorithm it will not maintain this order that if x comma y is present then x must have occurred to the left hand side of y with 100 percent accuracy quick select will not maintain this and therefore quick select cannot be used that is the reason why sorting and quick select cannot be used for this problem okay now we need relative ordering which has to be maintained between the input and the resultant array this is our overall goal right so i think the observation is pretty clear now let's try to see uh, the intuition for our solution the optimal solution so let's say that we have the same given array and in this case i want to divide this region into three parts in such a way that the middle portion will go to all the items which are equals to pivot left will be less than pivot right will be greater than pivot okay now if you are trying to maintain all the items less than pivot in the order of left to right because it has to be stable sort right so it has to be maintained in the same order from the left to right therefore we need a left pointer which keeps moving to the right hand side so that whenever i see an item which is less than the pivot then i can simply place it here and i can update both the pointers as it is right so you must have got the reason why this left pointer is starting on zero index and why it is moving to the right hand side because we want the ordering from left to right okay okay so this is completely fine but what happens for this pool of items can you move from left to right and keep pushing the items here like let's say if you see a 12 here can you push 12 here well actually not because later if you see a value 14 you might end up pushing 14 here so this will be just in the opposite order right so you want in the correct order not in the opposite order and that is why the elements which are greater than the pivot must be pushed from right to left because they occur on the end end side okay so that is why we will be taking a right pointer here as well so this is our extra space which is let's say our resultant array and i will be pushing all the items left to right if the items are less than the pivot right to left if the items are greater than pivot because that will maintain the order which is required okay now i'll be comparing this 10 with the pivot now 10 and pivot are same isn't it so this will be just decreasing so in every iteration we will be checking the left and the right value fine so now 12 will be checked so 12 this left pointer will try to place the lower items on the left side so 12 is larger okay so nothing will be done now check this out the right pointer this one is smaller so nothing will be done because the right pointer is trying to place the larger items to the right hand side okay now check this five this is a smaller item so place it here and move it forward now check this 14 14 is the larger item so place this 14 here and move it forward now you see that if you move from left uh, right to left then 14 should be the last item and yes this is completely fine right so this is your left pointer and when you update it this becomes your right pointer as well now after this step again compare this 10 again this is the same as the pivot so it will not get added on the left side you move this forward and then you check this out this is not greater than the pivot so right will go to the left hand side okay now check this left again this is larger so nothing is going to happen this is smaller so nothing is going to happen now the left is here right is here now you compare this three so three is actually smaller than the pivot so i can place this three here which is the left pointer right so this is moving to the right hand side okay we will skip forward 
and check out this it is 12 so 12 will be placed here and this pointer will, will move to the left so this is your right pointer okay so the left pointer is at index 3 right pointer is at index 4 in the resultant array both these pointers are actually different okay they are not the same now you check this out this is your right pointer okay so the left pointer is 10 you skip it out and the right pointer is 9 so you skip it out that's it you are done and once you are done you have successfully placed all the lower items moving from left to right using the left pointer scanner moving from left to right and you have also successfully placed all the larger items greater than p on the right hand side by moving the scanner from right to left okay using the right position pointer you can say right now whatever space is left in the middle must be all pivot items so you can just iterate from left to right and keep placing the pivot items there and you are done so this is how you will build the array and you can just return this result this will be our final result which is the stable ordered result fine in this case this works similar to your sort colors but not exactly the same and I had also given you this problem 2460. I just made it a couple of days back. So you can have a look at it. It is it is also quite similar. So the time complexity in this case is order of n because we are iterating through the array exactly one time. And you can say that it is not an in-place algorithm. So I'll be taking order of n space complexity as well. So I hope this entire uh, approach is clear. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given nums and the pivot value so i'll be finding the number of items and store it in n and take the result array then i'll be taking the left and right pointer and the left res left in the result and the right in the result okay so just to differentiate i have given two different names in the dry run i had given left and right for both isn't it now this is the loop where I will be checking uh, the left with the pivot item and if it is less then place it in the results left side and do left plus plus right something like that. So I think this is self explanatory this we have already seen in the try run and after doing this whatever middle portion uh, you are seeing from left to right you just iterate and push the pivot items there okay. So now we have built our resultant array and just return it. So this is the final result and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you